But then another thing you can do with the with bigger and smaller models is splitting tasks. So going back to my first example, which is about analyzing those YouTube videos, the analysis I want to do does have a few tasks or I'm, I'm expecting several outputs. So I want the summary, but I also want those key takeaways I talked about before. Now, the takeaways are something where I want the bigger model but the summaries can really be done by pretty much any model. So even uh, GPT-5 Nano, which I use in this case, is uh, enough to generate a summary of a transcript. And so the instructions I give it here then are to generate summary that's detailed enough. It's not just a couple of sentences, but it's detailed enough that I can then feed it into the bigger model. But what I am filtering out is a lot of rambling and unnecessary stuff like what I'm you know, like my talking here and basically just get the really the important things, the key points and everything from the from the transcript that goes into the bigger model and that the, then the bigger model really analyzes and gives me those better and deeper insights that I'm really that I'm really after. So those are the, the four main approaches. Now, I promised two bonus ones and here are those. So one is using local LLMs. What I mean by that is if you have a computer, whether that's your computer you're working on, whether you have a spare computer that can run a local LLM, which, you know, some people have, many don't obviously, but um, if you do have a computer like that, you can, especially for a large volume task that maybe do not require the, you know, the super capable model, you can really get it for virtually free. Obviously you're paying for electricity, but if you have a computer that's um, sitting idle anyway, you can push a large volume of data uh, without paying for those tokens. So in order to do this, obviously you need to be running your LLM locally, but other than that, you also need to expose it so that it's available from your NA NA10 instance, your API or wherever. Uh, for that, if you're interested in doing that, it's a little bit more technical. I suggest looking into NGROC, which can set up tunneling, and that way you can access your local computer as if it was you know, a server somewhere. Now, Another way that's probably more applicable for most people is batch processing. So what this is, is if you have a task that doesn't have to be done immediately. So as an example, let's say at the end of each month, you're running some reports and you're gonna be sending those reports out via email. So that happens every first of the month, you kick it off at midnight and you know it, it needs to show up uh, by morning uh, for, for everybody you're sending it to. Now, this is the kind of thing that it doesn't need to be done immediately. If you kick it off and, it ha and you know, it gets processed in a few hours, you're perfectly fine with that. And it can save you a significant uh, amount of money because batch processing, pretty much all of the um, LLM providers support it. 